Hi, this is Blake Aldridge from Ziegler Cat, paving product specialist. Today we're back on a P65 asphalt commercial paver. Specifically, we're gonna talk about items to clean and just keep track of. So, hoppers up on this particular P65. What's, what we wanna look at here is just general stuff, keeping our tanks clean. If you look down in here, we got some asphalt here. We wanna make sure towards the tracks, we don't have big chunks in there on both sides because it's harder to get from the outside of the track here. Gives you a good opportunity to kind of look in here with your laft and clean the track out. You can also, if you go ground level, you can get to the bottom of the track. We wanna make sure the track in general isn't full of asphalt mix and packed in there, which will hinder performance of propelling. So now that the hopper's closed, some things on the front of the machine we wanna talk about just keeping clean and things that keep in the back of our head as we clean things. So first thing is, if you look back, back here, you've got a door on the left and right, our cutoff doors. So those are the doors that monitor the material when we want it to come back to the screen. We wanna make sure those are cleaned on a regular basis and that we hose them down with our environmental fluid to keep those moving. You can do it from the front side. You may need to work keeping those clean from the back side also while you're on the screen. Also in this area, you've got a flip door here that allows us to get to that fuel tank, diesel fuel tank. So you just wanna take your, your knife or your spatula or whatever you use and uh, clean that out so you can get that door open. As we're looking at the hopper here, we've got multi-functions here on this particular hopper as far as raising and uh, lifting up the hopper itself. So with that motion, you've got this area down in here. We wanna make sure we don't have a bunch of mix in there, getting this in a position where it'll seize up. So keep this clean, keep it lubed. Going from there, on the very front here, we wanna make sure our push rollers we get chunks of asphalt off of this and make sure that's clean. Other thing to pay attention to is your flashing and the mix getting down in there, pushing it out, which will make mix spill out. So also a great point to check. As we move around to the side of the machine, keeping in mind you got two sides you're looking at. So we talked about getting to the track once the hopper was up. You can also, from ground level, if we get on our hands or knees, we can look at the bottom of the track here, use a shovel or a lath to help work on that track and keeping chunks out of there also. Another point here from the side is right here on the back side of the hopper, as this pivots up and down when we use it, we wanna make sure that's free of chunks here also. If we move back around the screed, Specifically with this screen extended out, you have your extender out. Something we wanna make sure is we've got all the asphalt cleaned out of, of this area with the auger and where the bearing is, especially this inner bearing, we wanna make sure is cleaned up and we don't have chunks in there. As we look to the back side of the extender, we've got these nice chrome rods. We wanna make sure we keep those clean and wipe down and keep the film off of it so it allows extensions to go in and out easily. Also, chunks of asphalt will build up here as we pave and back in the piles, mix gets pushed in there, so you wanna make sure you always keep that clean also. Coming around to the back of the screed, once again, we wanna make sure the front face, we wanna kinda of reach down in here, check this interface of the crown area and inside the extensions and keep that clean along with our walkway. We wanna keep that nice and clean so uh, it doesn't become a trip hazard. Thanks for going through the P65 with me today. If you have any further questions, feel free to call a Ziggler branch at you.